Hello everybody, my name is Heather. Welcome back to the Graphics Fairy. I'm from Ruby and Pearl. And today I'm gonna to be sharing a junk journal flip through with you. This is my design team project for the month of March for the premium site. So yeah, so I've been working on this journal for the last month or so. And the Graphics Fairy has like a, a bundle called the French Attic. And I had chosen a few images from that bundle kind of like as my starting point for the journal. And I was just loving the concept that, you know, this was a ladies journal that had kind of got tucked away in the attic somewhere and someone found it and was just going through and looking through all the little bits of her life that she had tucked inside and little memories and mementos. So things that have meaning to her that, you know, if you would find them in an attic someday you know, maybe somebody would treasure them. So it kind of reminded me of like how we're making these beautiful journals and maybe one day someone would find one of our journals and treasure them. I hope so. So yeah. So on the cover, I chose this really pretty image of this little girl. She, I believe this is like her first Holy Communion and she has this beautiful um, crown of roses on her head. Love that. And I put a mother of, or I'm sorry an antique button and it has this like really pretty mother of pearl center it's so so pretty with the filigree around the edge and just tied it with a little bit of um jute and there's a vintage millinery flower which is lily of the valley which I love and I put a little bit of silk along the spine and I have some really pretty French papers peeking out from the graphics fairy too and I really liked the concept of just the papers, like all sort of peeking out everywhere. I loved, I loved that. Just like imagining that she would be tucking away all of her little memories and things that were kind of like mementos and things that were important to her. So yeah, so the side is all full of these little bits. Love, don't we all love that about a junk journal? Like all the bits that poke out of the side. So yeah. And then the back is, um, I put this really pretty image from the Graphics Fairy site too, and it's a white rose, and I put a little clip here, and this is some cotton rag handmade paper, and um, I, t I dyed it with avocados, so it turned this really pretty pink, so I wanted to use it in the journal. So yeah, so that is the back, and um, I also created a little bundle of ephemera kind of like an envelope bundle to go with the journal because I was just also imagining that like you know her letters and pictures and things her little memories were all tied up with a bow and and left in the attic so I also had a lot of ephemera left over that I did not use in the journal so that's kind of why I created that little bundle there so actually I think maybe we'll just go ahead and open that first and then we'll do the journal. So, so yeah, so it's just a little stack of papers and since we have both of these to get through, I'm going to try hard not to be too talky chatty. <laughs> so yeah, so this is the first little envelope and I just, um, put a little bit of lace there and a vintage cross and this pretty bird so yeah and then um on the inside are some treasures so here is let's see if i can just move that right over there so here is a beautiful image of this little girl in all of her lace glory so i was just wondering you know maybe this is her daughter or somebody in her family and a little vintage wallpaper tag and then a wax seal she has tucked in there what else is in here and this really pretty sacred heart so those are all the treasures that are from that one and then this really beautiful old postcard love this pink and yellow flowers so pretty So yeah, and then we have this little envelope and I just tied a little vintage religious charm on there. It's so pretty and I just 
put some little ribbons and some threads and then on the inside is this gorgeous um, picture of the Blessed Mother and, be and Jesus and this frame is from the Graphics Fairy Premium site. You could print this out and use there's she has there's a lot of frames on the site and it's so so pretty. They are so pretty. Some vintage buttons tucked in there. So that is the second one. And this is a vintage tag, a vintage wallpaper tag that I made. And then this little envelope is an avocado dyed um, envelope. And I just put some graphics fairy script there, a little bit of lace, and then opens up. And inside I just put a few little wallpaper tags and some embossed, an embossed tag. Which actually that was a nice size for those for those tags. <laughs> um Let's see here. Let me get this back to making it look like a little bundle. And then this is the last part. And it's just a little envelope. And there's a little cameo charm there tucked on the envelope. And then this little lady. She's so pretty. And then just open this up. And then I embossed the um, envelope. And then on the back, I put some vintage wallpaper. And then this is actually attached to the envelope so that it will stay closed. And then on the inside, we have this beautiful card. And then this is an image from the Graphics Fairy. These two, they are some French... Um, landmarks and oh they are so pretty and then here's some handmade paper that i put in there and then this is from the graphics fairy that you could print out and i used lynn's idea of printing on doodle paper which is like little kids drawing paper and it turned out really really nice and then i just folded it and aged like inked along the edges and yeah it's just it kind of looks really real so thanks lynn for the tip and then this is also an image from the graphics fairy that you can print out i just love the gold typography there so yeah so those are all the little treasures in that envelope and they just get tucked right inside there And then just pile everything back up, move it out of the way, make room for the journal. Whoops. Okay. So for the journal, just open it up with the um with the closure and the button just kind of threaded on there so it stays on there and so yeah so you can see that handmade paper there and what I did was I just made sort of like a wrap to go around the actual journal so it's not really attached it just sort of wraps along the the outside and then um, so like this is the actual kind of like cover of the journal that's bound together and this is just a I made this a journaling card so it just tucks in there and for the actual cover I put some um, vintage wallpaper here and some really pretty um, embossed paper and then I just sort of covered the spine with a little bit of linen fabric so yeah so that is the journal cover and then you open it up and this is the inside um this is the image one of the images from the french attic bundle and it's like this gorgeous lace like french um 
prayer card. And what I did was I just took my scallopy scissors and cut around because I'm really not patient with fussy cutting <laughs> but the edge was decorative around it so like a lace edge so you could fussy cut that image but that's all I did and it worked out really pretty so yeah and then just a little journaling card there those just get clipped there and then this is a little tuck spot here pocket and I made a vintage wallpaper tag to go in there and then um, these little bits of French paper here those are from the Graphics Fairy, and there is so many different script that you could choose from, but I just printed this off. It's from the printables section, so if you go into the Graphics Fairy and you look in the printables section, you could see all sorts of different printables, and I liked this one because it just had the little snips of the different French papers, so I just printed that off and kind of cut off little sections of of these scripts there's a couple different variations of this of this in the graphics fairy and I just use them throughout the journal like so you'll see I mean you could print like the whole document of each one but this was already kind of like sized down and so I liked that I could just come in and snip off a bit so yeah so that is the first page and this goes in here like that and then this page is another one of those gorgeous French landmarks and it's just a little tuck spot and I just put this vintage French paper document thing in here and I liked that it had that little stamp so just tuck that in there and then this is some embossed paper and then some room for journaling I didn't tr I tried not to make the journal too too like packed full of stuff because I really wanted to give room for journaling in this journal I think it would just be such a beautiful journal to to write in and to like put your thoughts and just I don't know maybe your prayers such a beautiful journal so um, this is some vintage wallpaper it's French and I put it in there and this is like a little pocket here you could put something in and then this is another image from the French bundle and then this could also be like a tuck spot here and then I also used some really pretty script from the graphics fairy site there's I just went like crazy with a lot of the script through here and I really tried to do a play on the white and the creams and the browns mixed with the pink that was kind of like my color palette so I I did really stick to that color palette throughout the journal and then this is just some pretty birds from the graphics fairy and then this is um, actually it's this image here I just took that image and cut out that little section there and put it right there as like a little stamp really like that and then this is a vintage wallpaper tag that I created. Love those beautiful roses. And then this is a, just a little journaling card and an image from the Graphics Fairy. More script. I think this is a poem. So pretty. And then this is some embossed, or not embossed, textured with stencil. I'd use the stencil and then I put some texture on on the music sheet and then this flips out and there's some vintage wallpaper down here so there's lots of room for journaling here and then this is another image that you can print from the graphics fairy super pretty and then this flips out like this and there's another bird and then this can be a tuck spot it's just a tag that I created and I just made it permanent so that way it would be like a little tuck spot I love this beautiful tatted lace along the side here and then this is a tag that I made but I just made it into a tuck spot here or like a pocket and then this is some vintage um, like ledger paper it's really pretty it was like that peachy pink so that was why I chose it for the journal and then this is some um, like a die cut that I this is the center so I just did the die cut on both 
both pages and I thought it looked so pretty as the center. And these little girls with their sweet little veils and flowers, they are so cute. My gosh, all the like old pictures just get me every every time. And then there's the other side of that vintage ledger. And then this is an image that you can print from the graphics fairy and I just tucked um, a little prayer card there with a sacred heart and a bow. And then this is a little tag I made. Um, this is uh, an image from the graphics fairy too, like an invoice and it's pink. And I made a little ribbon out of um, pattern tissue paper. Not a ribbon, a, a ruffle. <laughs> um, and then this is a really pretty rose and I just put some dotted Swiss there. This is also an image that you can print from the Graphics Fairy. It's like a French, French document type thing. And then some, just some sari silk and a bow here and then this is a little tuck spot I just had this it's like a vintage postcard that I used part of for the actual front cover and so I just took that little section of it because it has this pretty table with flowers on it I love that and then this flips out and that really pretty script and then another tag I should have called this the tag journal because I made a ton of tags for this journal so yeah, so this is some really pretty vintage wallpaper with the white roses and a little ruffle. And I made it like a flip out, so that way you could do journaling there. And then this is some avocado dyed paper and some of that beautiful script from the Graphics Fairy. And then this is just another pocket and I did that same little stamp thing there and the Eiffel Tower and then this really pretty image behind. And then on this page is um, a printable that you can print from the Graphics Fairy and a really pretty vintage wallpaper tag that I made and some more of that embossed paper. And this is another section of that French little paper that I showed you, the printable and I just kind of like, I just kind of put those here and there throughout the journal just to give a little bit more interest. And then this is the back cover. And I made this a little pocket back here. And what it is, is it's a junk mail envelope that I tea dyed. And I have this vintage metal table. So it kind of gives this crisscross look whenever I'm tea dyeing papers. And, um... So yeah, I just kind of like tore it there and made it a little pocket. So yeah, so that is the back of the journal. And then this is the back page, this really pretty rose. So that is the journal, and I hope that you guys enjoyed this flip through. Um, I'm going to be putting this journal in my Etsy shop on Wednesday, the day that it goes up in the Graphics Fairy site, and that is March 12th. And I'll have it in my Etsy shop around 4 p.m. if anyone is interested in it. And yeah, so I hope that you guys like the flip through. And I will see you next month. I hope you have a wonderful month. Bye.